Hello guys, welcome back to a video. Um, but today we're gonna be making a not really an operating system, but like a, a basic operating system. I think later in the video I actually end up calling it Boss, well B dot O dot S, short for basic operating system. Cause it's not really an operating system. I mean, it's basically a more convenient way to navigate through Windows. Now, what I mean by that is like, you've got like, you, for example, you type one and press enter, it launches Google, for example, you know, and then like you can do all that kind of stuff and then it has cool features to it. But yeah, we just start off making the first bit of the menu so where it's like, welcome to my operating system and everything. Uh, like, you know, press 1 to start, 2 to help, 3 to exit, you know, that kind of start menu. But yeah, in this start menu, it's just easy, you know, we're just going to start it, and then it's going to lead you to the operating system and everything, so yeah. Alright, so what I did here is that I try to find the center of the screen that this runs in, because this is batch file, right? And um, in batch file... It runs in command prompt, so I had to try and find the middle of the screen where the text would be. I think it's somewhere around like 45 to 52 lines where it's the middle of the screen. It's somewhere between that. So I had to find that and um, then I just tried to come up with the design to make the, the menu look kind of pretty, you know? Alright, I think it's time for a quick sped up video to see what I really did in this. <laughs> Alright, so now I've finished making a really boring design for the first. I believe I actually end up fixing that up a little bit more in the future, but um, now that we've done, like, the very start menu, I think it's time for, to do the help menu, because you want to get the easy stuff out of the way first. So, we're just going to do the help menu now, and, yeah, I guess we'll speed up that process as well. Alright, so now I'm pretty much done doing the help and everything, like like what you have to do, um, like how to use the operating system. Uh, I know it's not an operating system, we'll just call that now, because um, it's easier to classify it as. But now that I've done that, now I just need to make the starting operating system thingamajig, you know? But when I was doing it, I had a little bit of trouble using the ping local host, you know? It for some reason wasn't working when I tried to run the program. It was really odd, but it just didn't want to seem to work. So I eventually had to take that out and just make sure so you just press enter. But enough of that. <laughs> Let's speed it up once again. Alright, so now that I've basically gone through that whole ping local the host thing, um, now we're I just gotta create a bunch of echoes, but no one wants to see that, do we? Like, no, I I wouldn't if I was watching this, but anyway, we're not gonna see that. So let's just skip for ten hours, just ten thousand hours, okay? So what I did is I started off by making like the the default home screen of this operating system and you know just like looked at some other designs from some other games and got like a bit of a reference like never be scared to reference you know so I did that and um I just like made a whole bunch of designs and 
then eventually I made it so that you can change the color of the text that's in the game and everything, no, in the game, in the operating system, and yeah, I also did a bunch of testing as well on other things in like different uh, batch files, so I can make sure it's safe to put into the operating system. So next order of business was to make some logos or some background pictures that you could put into the operating system, or not really put into it, but like change the current like background image. So you got like the Windows image and everything. I tried to make it look as realistic as I could, but I did a terrible job on that. And I tried to make it like look a little bit pretty and, you know, make it look... I don't even know. I just like looked at the Windows logo for so long and I was like, should I do it like this or should I do it like that? And I eventually settled on a couple ideas and then I put them all into one and then I got the results. So um, I did that and I also put in a matrix effect as well, just, you know, so that it's there. And I ended up making a couple other background images as well. So yeah. All right. So, I didn't have any footage from, like, when I was making it, because I completely forgot to press record when I made massive step-ups in it, and then I was just like, nah, I can't be bothered to press record anymore, so then I stopped recording it, so I'll just show you the finished product anyway, um, it's an exe file, so let's go into it, let's go full screen. So type 1 to start it, press enter, and what we can do, literally, whatever in here, it's, um, you can, you can create a text file and everything, so you can do that, and then it launches it, as you can see, so I can just do random numbers, like 6, 1 to 6, and then I can just get rid of that, and what was it called? We can go to add programs and we can and then type it in in slot one name, and it was called name. All right, we go here and view programs and it didn't work. All right, just changed it to a text file, so we'll see if that works. Alright, there we go. So now that works. So you have to do dot text. Okay. That had me worried for a second. I thought that function all of a sudden just stopped working. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you can go search. You can change the background pictures. So I tried to spice it up a little bit. Added ones and zeros and everything. But Shards is probably my favorite one. Um, it just looks sick. So then we can go here and change the text color to... Um, let's go purple, I reckon, yeah. That looks pretty cool. What about, I, I heard red looks really good. That does look really good, yeah. And you can access File Explorer just by that. Um, that's got that open. And then you can go to search again. You can change the title, so that changes it up here. And, yeah. So we'll do that right now. So what should we call it? Just call it new trucks. <laughs> there we go. And it changes the name to whatever you did. And then what else should we do? Um, we can go onto Notepad. There we go. Open that up. Now this computer doesn't have Notepad plus plus. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So then it doesn't work because it doesn't have Notepad plus plus. But, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Then you got Matrix Effect, but, um, because you need to download the link, I'll put it in the description and everything for the link, um, because you need to download it, and it comes into a compressed file, and it has everything you need, like the Matrix Effect and everything. So if we try to launch that now, it's not going to work, because it's meant to be in... Um, it's meant to be in your, in the file and everything, so, yeah, that's why it doesn't work, so you can go info, and then, um, what information do you want to learn, how to access, create text files, how to add programs to this OS, how this OS was made, why is my, why 
is my added programs not starting and then you can go back. Um, let's go how this OS was made. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's how it was made. You can pause if you want. Um but yeah. So we can go back to info. And why is my added programs not starting? Most likely because it has it needs a dot exe at the end. You can pause and look at that if you want. Um and then what else? So search info. Um how to add programs and everything, how to access the created text files. So like I said before, like when I created that text file, so, so you can just you just go into files and then um, go to it. Because I go here, no, back, and then we go files. And then it's on desktop. And where is it? It's called name. Pretty sure it's not there. What the hell? It's odd. Oh, never mind. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it. That's pretty much the, uh, operating system. I mean, it can probably do more things. Um, I, mean, I think, I feel like I'm missing something. You can also make a custom logo and everything only containing those characters. Type next. And it doesn't save because I couldn't find a way to do that. And because I didn't press a line, because I didn't enter in anything in that one line, it has echo off. And but yeah, then you have a custom settings and everything, custom background image. So that's cool and everything. But and then you can also change the window size if you're not in full screen. So you can go large um, and everything. You can go medium. It's pretty cool. Go back here, window size, and you can go three small. This messes up the backgrounds, but whatever. <laughs> uh, let's go shards. It looks really messed up in this. Yeah, you can't even see anything. <laughs> yeah, and then you just go back, and it looks even more messed up. So then you have to change it back to launch, the default, and then it looks normal again. Oh. And there we go. That's the OS. I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video.